Good morning! Another day at the office and today is about the new Yamaha Tracer 900. You know the Tracer 900, it's one of the most successful sport touring motorcycles on the market and for 2018 it's got a new windshield. Let's see how good it is on the highway. Uh, it's got another old handlebar, it's got a redesigned seat. It comes with a longer swing arm. What else? Uh, some minor design updates. Check the hand guards and these side panels. Maybe some updates to the suspension, as far as I know. And I'm really curious to see how this bike will ride today. So let's go. Oh, and before that, let's hear how the engine sounds. Oh my God. It's gonna be a good day. This weather is the perfect weather for riding a bike and I'm with this sport touring machine that I like very much. First of all is the engine. I like how it sounds. I don't know, maybe some of you don't like that inline triple sound, but I love it. I like how it pushes. What I dislike a bit is the throttle response. I mean, it's been a couple of years since Yamaha launched the MT-09 and uh, the Tracer 900. But still, uh, the, the throttle response is not very refined. Uh, I'm using it on the standard mode. There is an A mode which is more aggressive and I don't like it. It's a bit too snatchy for me. And it's the B uh, mode which is, uh, let's say, for uh, slippery surfaces. Ah! about 70 kilometers on the highway and there are some after that some straight roads what have I noticed so far is that this windshield well it's wider than before it's larger than before and it has this single hand adjustment system which is very nice even though it's larger than before it's still not enough I mean uh, it protects you from the wind but you you feel a lot of wind buffeting in your helmet a lot of noise and that's uh, what I don't like but probably you can solve this problem with uh, an aftermarket option uh, besides the windscreen I also noticed that uh, I have some high speed instability probably because of these uh, side cases so keep that in mind when you're using the side cases uh, the standard side cases you must uh, keep uh, the speed low Otherwise, you're gonna get some wobbles when you, you're trying to, to change the direction on the highway. And uh, I think that's all for now. What a bike! It looks really nice and it rides really nice. Another thing that I noticed 
is that for this year the passenger foot peg was moved a bit to be more comfortable for the passenger but if you're riding in a sporty manner and you keep uh, your foot here uh, in the back you're gonna hit with your heel the passenger's foot peg but it's not such a big issue it's just something that i noticed this is the tracer 900 but this is not all because from now on from this year on it's got a better version it even got better and this is its better version is the tracer 900 gt and we have mihai with us hello hello thank you for joining us he's the owner of this bike and uh, he was very kind to be with us today for this review I have it uh, since the 1st of, G uh, of August okay. and uh, I've done with it about 4,500 kilometers and I really enjoy the bike. The big pro of the bike is the engine, okay. which I consider it to be amazing. It's really fun and the GT package I think is great value for the money you have to pay extra. Uh, how much? It's about uh, not, quite, not just a few dollars, it's about $1,600 you know, yeah. in our country, in Romania. Yeah, that's correct. No, euros, not dollars. Yeah. 1,600 euros. Yeah, that's correct, but for the money, you get these panniers, which yeah. are very expensive. On the other bike, they're just an option. Yeah. So they, they cost about 500... 500 euro a piece. A piece? A piece, yes. Wow. I'm not very sure this is the correct information, but I think that is the least price for them. Okay. Also, I have an extra, I have a cruise control. That's good. I have a quick shifter, only for going up. That's very nice. Uh, the color dash, which has a lot of functions and it is nice. It looks similar to the one on the Yamaha R1. I think it's the same uh, unit as the Yamaha R1, but uh, the information that it shows, it's a little different. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, I have heated grips, which are very practical. It's my yeah. first bike with heated grips. I didn't really understand <laughs> during August why they're so nice, but during one rainy day, they are very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No problems <laughs> for those. I feel you because I left uh, Bucharest early morning at uh, 7 a.m. and it was very cold yeah. on that bike without the heated grips. And you also got, uh, Yamaha says, an improved suspension. Yeah. And we're, we're gonna try to, to figure out uh, how different is the suspension on the GT compared to the one on the standard Tracer 900. I mean, this one is fully adjustable, uh, the, the other one is not, and this one is golden, it's yellow. Yeah. But uh, we're gonna try to, to find the differences. And to do that, Bogdanel, please join us. Yeah, we have our colleague Bogdanel. Uh, don't get full about uh, his uh, eyeglasses because he's not the IT guy. Yeah, yeah I'm not <laughs> repairing the computers over here. I'm trying to race some bikes, so. I'll be hitting the twisties with both of them uh, in order to check out which one it's uh, more planted, which uh, one it's uh, with, which one I from which one I get a better feeling on, on the twisties because it's very important with this type of bike and this amount of power, this engine actually that you said is very cool. We love it also, but uh, I think uh, the suspension it's a minor problem, so I have to check the GT to see if it worth the money or not. Such a nice day. What do you think? Well, lovely, lovely bikes. Uh, I can't, I can't get off of my mind the last couple of miles that we spent together riding <laughs> very close one to another, very fast on the twisties. Good job, good job, Yamaha. I, 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 imagine doing that after the camera shuts down. Uh, <laughs> so just... the road home will be so much fun. I can't <laughs> yeah, wait. Exactly, it. it's all about having fun <laughs> and breaking the rules. But let's uh, take it uh, step by step with these two bikes. Uh, okay, this is the GT. Uh, this is the simple version, the okay. 900. The looks pretty much the same. Yes. Do you like the look of the bike? A lot, a lot actually. The, the, the front area is very beautiful. Uh, the side fairings 
make it look even more aggressive. Yeah, these side panels they redesigned for this year also look very nice and uh, also these... Uh, yeah, it looks very good with the, with the panniers, it looks beefy, it looks like a proper adventure bike. <laughs> okay, what, what I was trying to say is that uh, these panniers, they look very nice, but they're a bit pricey, they cost about 560 euros each. That's pretty expensive. Yeah, for this one, for the GT, they come as standard. Uh, for the simple version, you can fit them only as an option. But what, what I don't like is that they're not that big, they're not that large, and you can't fit a full face helmet into them. Yeah, but maybe you can buy a top case and uh, things will go better from there. But I like the way they, they stick to the bike. It's, it's a proper it's way new to, for this year. Yeah, it's a proper way to, to fit them on the bike. So that's a very cool thing. The riding position? Uh, the riding position is the same, I think, for each bike. It's very relaxed. Uh, you have a high stance. I'm a six footer. I can put my whole soul on the on the tarmac so it's very good for me actually i like it a lot i like the handlebar you have a lot of leverage coming from it i i heard that uh, it was reduced the dimension is reduced for this year but it's still very good to, to ride yeah um also it's a nice bike for riding in the city because of the high riding position because of the handlebar uh it's quite nimble too actually uh the only thing i don't like in the city is that it doesn't have such a nice turning angle. I mean, yeah, uh, it's not that big. It's not as on your usual adventure bike, so it's not that large. It's more, it's more like a sports action. bike. Yes, when it comes close to, the to a end. sports bike. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But outside the city is where the fun begins, and uh, we had a lot of fun on the twisties. Yeah, the bike, the bikes, both bikes react very good. React very good. I like the way the, the engine pushes outside the, uh, when you get it out of the corner, you put the gas down and everything, it's lovely. Uh, and but there's a minor it, problem. Uh, which one? The one with the throttle, did you spot it? Yeah, the throttle response, yeah, I think it was uh, something uh, as, a, as a Yamaha trademark <laughs> ever, uh, from, ever, from the beginning. Ever since the, That's the, the way launched. they like to do it, I think, because uh, if you use it on A and even on standard, uh, you get a little punch when you come back uh, on the throttle. But if you use it on B mode, like I've learned you today, uh, it's more predictable, you have more fun, you even can ride it uh, a bit harder without realizing it because you're in the B mode. But the bike, it's soft and the, the throttle comes in uh, very, very smooth. So that's a good thing. Yeah, and we also noticed some vibes, just a bit after 7,000 RPM. In yeah, that you area. can feel it to, to, to the pegs and to the handlebar, but it's nothing annoying if you're using your motorcycle gloves and your, your boots. And you must use them every day. Yeah, of course. as you must. <laughs> the comfort. The comfort, the saddle, it's a Japanese saddle, but it's a bit more comfortable than your usual Japanese. You know that I have problems with saddles <laughs> yeah. because uh, I can't, I can't ride the bike for more than let's say 200 miles without to make uh, without a break <laughs> because my 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 bottom hurts a lot so this saddle is very good actually i i spent like two hours in it today and it feels good i can i can do some more yeah it's okay at the beginning yesterday i thought that it, it won't be so comfortable i don't know why but uh now today i got used to it and uh, it feels a lot better. And uh, if you want more comfort, uh, you must choose the GT version because it comes with heated grips, okay? And it comes with a cruise control, which is very important because, come on, okay, the, the heated grips, you, you can choose an aftermarket option, but for the cruise control... Yeah, you, you can't do that. So it's a very useful uh, gadget to have on your bike. What about the wind protection? Because I was I was uh, encountering some issues on the highway with this bike. What about you? Yeah. Because you're smaller than me. Yeah, no. Uh, it, it's not about the wind. You can ride it fast and the, the wind won't hit you. But it's about the noise you get to your helmet. The, the wind buffeting. This is this was annoying for me. Just like on a naked, yeah? Uh, not really. It's like uh, when putting a higher windshield to a naked. Oh, you yeah. get that wind buffeting Wobbling on a naked the... on a naked bike you you just uh, feel the wind and that's it no uh, no extra noise but this comes with extra noise but you ma you, you you can change it uh, also uh, i'm very pleased with the weather protection around my uh, my legs 
it's yeah, okay. The fairings are a bit wider, they, they go over your, your knees, so that's a very good thing. And you get a lot of heat coming on the, on the knee From area, the, yeah. so yeah. this is very helpful because today we had like 200, 220 degrees Celsius or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was very good because the heat was uh, good actually. The brakes, I'll say they're okay. More than okay for this. Uh, bike actually it's uh, it's a proper package yeah it's well balanced and uh the suspension because this is one thing that uh, we discussed about earlier in my opinion it's very simple this one can handle some adjustments that one is fully adjustable and it's a bit stiffer than this one they both have a higher stance they have a longer travel but that one it's uh, a bit more sporty uh, you get a lot of a feel coming from the front end also from the back uh, this one it's harder to to put from a side to another uh, when you encounter a bump on the road so if you do it easily or if you do it relaxed if you encounter a, a bump on the road things will become very very annoying and you have to, to release the gas a bit in order to to put the back put the bike back on the on the road on that one i didn't felt at once not even once this thing because it was sticking very well to the asphalt so that's why i would go for the for the full adjustable suspension you have a preload adjustment for the rear on the back over there uh, you have uh, compression and rebound adjustments on the front so if you know your way with the suspension you can make it uh, like a proper race bike so you can even use it for a track day. I'm sure that this bike can handle a track day. Okay, so which one is the Tracer to buy? Considering the amount of money that you need to pay for the GT, I would take the GT without looking back. So uh, you get the cruise control, you get the heated grips, you get the, the nice uh, looking dash that comes from the R1. You get a fully adjustable suspension and panniers all in this price, uh, the difference is too small not to I, buy the GT. Yeah, I think this is the, the, the best sport touring package you can actually find on the market because it has it all. It has the fun, it has the comfort, it, ha it has uh, some electronics, but not too much, but the, the essential ones. By the way, uh, what do you feel about the electronics intervention, the traction control? Uh, I got it at, at some point when, uh, when the road was a bit slippery and uh, I, I put on a lot of gas at the exit so it just blinked but i didn't feel the intervention so that's a good thing also the abs uh, i locked it once or twice on the rear but i was braking heavily so they work very good i like the way they they cut, they kick in and it's nothing annoying about that so so nice bikes yeah nice bikes yes okay let's go ride <laughs> some more yeah because... great job this was our uh, tracer 900 review for the day we had a very nice ride and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more.